Welcome to the Boxing Bookie. This is uh, Three Boxing. We're here with the Boxing Bookie. We're gonna we got the women's fight today. We don't usually do too many women's fight, but I, I saw this and, and, and I kind of liked it because I thought it was an intriguing fight. I watched the press conference. I was into it, so I went back and watched the first fight uh, to kind of refresh my memory on it. And I'm gonna get into Rama Ali and Jalisa Guzman uh, the rematch, which is uh, the undercard of uh, Vasquez with Joe Gordino. Um, but before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, or all forms of social media. The Boxing Book comes at you for every major fight. We're going to come back tomorrow and do the FA Jogba fight as well. Uh, we're going to bring you guys some big stuff. Um, but let's get uh, – and again, we don't gamble. I don't gamble. Uh, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to bring down the house. The, the boxing odds makers, the bookies don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to make a, make a book on a fight. I do. Uh, I gave you Palmetto yesterday. Um, you guys better start listening because I will show you how to generate a second source of income uh, by betting on boxing. Uh, if you stick with me, I will show you how to consistently make money uh, fight after fight. And like I said, I, I've been showing you that now. I've been on four in a row now um, after a rough week. And we're just going to keep rolling. Uh, we're going to get into – and also please follow my other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That is Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds uh, go to autism research and recovery. Um, all right, let's get into today's show. Um, it's, it, 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 this is a good fight, right? Uh, because you have a, a master class boxer with good speed um, against a hard hitting come forward fighter with excellent timing. So this has all the makings of a great fight. And there's two ways in which this fight can end. It can end by Rama Ali on points. Or it can end uh, by Jalissa Guzman by stoppage. I can't see Guzman unless she gets a bunch of knockouts, knockdowns. I mean, sorry, she gets a bunch of knockdowns. Her winning a points decision. She was actually behind on the card in the eighth round when she got the stoppage over uh, Ali in the first fight. And I was at that fight. It was the Regis Pro Gray uh, Zaria card. I was there in in in. Um, in, in New Orleans, and I got talked to her in a hotel after the fight, and she wanted the rematch right away. She knew what she had done, and um, she wanted the rematch. This is a fight that she was confident in, and I do believe she's the better fighter. And this is a really, really hard fight to bet. And when I saw Ramla Ali was actually a slight betting underdog, I, I had to I had to jump in on it. Um, this is a great fight, and I, I wish there were more props. I wish there were more ways, but I'm, the only thing DraftKings is giving me is the money line. And it's an interesting money line because Rama's a slight underdog. Um, if she moves east to west and and, and she, she she jabs and she moves um, and she doesn't, you know, I, I don't want to see her exchange. I don't want to see her on an exchange. I want to see her on the outside moving. Um, Guzman is bigger and stronger. Uh, so, you know, in the rings, she looks substantially bigger. Um, she's obviously the bigger hitter. She's really, really strong. Um, it, this is a, a fight that Guzman's got. I mean, uh, Guzman's got to win on the inside coming forward, and Ali has got to win. Ali has got to win on the outside. She can't really hurt Guzman, which is a problem. I'm still gonna pick Ali though, right? Like I'm gonna pick Ali to survive. Um, she made a lot of dumb mistakes, things that you can fix. Like she just didn't pick her hand up. Um, she got hit. She was getting hit with the right hand, right hand, and right hand. And then she gets knocked out by the left hook. Um, but there are things that she can fix, easy things, just things that you can fix in, in, the, in the gym in the five months since she's last fought. And I, I think this is a good fight for her. Uh, I really do. I, I think this is a, a really intriguing fight, a uh, high-level fight, um, in which if she uses her skills, if she uses the ring and she moves, she can win. Just don't stand in front. Use your jab, put a right hand behind it, um, and, and and just get the basics right. Move east to west. Don't move in and out. No, don't don't move north to south uh, because she you puts yourself in line to get hit. But these are relatively easy things that 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 she can fix. For Guzman, it's simple, right? Just keep pressing forward. Cut the ring off. Keep throwing a right hand. Disguise the left hook. It's an easy fight, and this is like I said, this is a 50-50 fight. And, uh, you know, I, I think if it goes to the scorecard, so you're really betting on the over-under. If you're betting the over, it goes the distance, Ali's going to win. If you bet the under, you're betting Guzman's going to stop her. Uh, I'm going to say Guzman doesn't stop her. I'm going to say Guzman has some moments, but I, I think there's enough mistakes 
easy mistakes, you know, things that you can fix in the gym relatively easily. Um, and I think Ali knew that speaking to her after the fight. She had just – she had let this one slip a little bit. Um, so let us let me show you what I'm looking at. Let's take a look um, at the odds of the fight. Ramla Ali is plus 115. Guzman is minus 150. So it's, it's, a, it's a nice little spread on the fight. Um, a Guzman fight on $100, $100 bet, it's going to make you $66. A uh, hundred dollar bet on uh, Ali is going to make you one fifteen. I- I'm ever so slightly leaning towards that, so I'm taking um, Ramla Ali. Um, you know, I-, I felt this way. I should be on the Palmetto fight um, with with Boca Chica, and I, and I went with Pal- Palmetto, and that that came up aces. I think this is going to come up aces too. Uh, this is by no means the lock of the week. Uh, this is Ramla Ali on point. Well, there's no on points. This is Ramla Ali on the money line. Well, hundred dollars uh, will make you a one fifteen. That's what we got. You're not you're not breaking the bank on this one. Um, but stick with me. You'll make some money on this one. Ali should win. Uh, she should be able to survive. Just don't get knocked out. Don't make yourself. I mean, there's so many things that she can fix. Where um, Guzman is just gonna have to fight the fight as she fought the first time and hope she knocks her out again, which she she could. Uh, but I, I think there's enough thing. Ali, she's got a good camp. She's got a good head on her shoulders. She's smart, good ring IQ. There's enough things that she can fix um, to, to kind of write the path here. But let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie who brings you every major fight and show you how to bring down the house. Uh, follow me at 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, at all forms of social media. Also, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is November 2nd, 2023, from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, 